Hello, welcome to Hippie Shake TV. So, you may know I haven't used shampoo for three and a half years now. That is quite a long time. And since giving up shampoo, I've also given up a whole load of other kind of toxic chemical things that we very often put on our hair. So I have had a bit of a crazy relationship actually with hair dye. I dyed my hair first when I was 11 years old. And I think that's because I just really like having fun with hair and I like to change it up a little bit. I like playing with my style and all that sort of thing. So the first time I ever dyed my hair was bright red when I was 11. Um, and I really enjoyed it and so I never really looked back and would dye my hair every few months, which is a bit intense. The funniest time I ever dyed my hair was in science class when we were doing some kind of like scientific test with um, hydrogen peroxide and I thought, I think this is the stuff that you bleach your hair with. So I put it on my head and <laughs> I gave myself amazing highlights with straight up hydrogen peroxide in the middle of my science class. Yeah. Probably not very good for your hair because, in fact, bleach and commercial dyes are packed full with silicones and really hard out stuff that can really damage your hair shaft. However, since giving up shampoo, I did discover that I have an inner ginger. You know, I'm not actually naturally, well, I am naturally blonde, but my heart is ginger. So I dye my hair every six weeks with henna and I really enjoy it. However, it does gradually keep making your hair darker and darker. I don't know if you can see, but it's really quite dark there. Um, so I thought I'd have a little play today with chamomile tea. Yes, that tea that calms you can apparently be a really good, healthy, natural dye. So I have it here. Ding, ding, ding. It's kind of like sludge. And I thought I'm just going to pack it on my hair and leave it for a few hours and see what it does. Stick with me while I do that. So I've moved into the kitchen because this is probably a more sensible place to mess around with herbs rather than the study. Bit messy. So I'll show you the tea. This is, so this is, I've um, cut open a whole load of chamomile tea bags and I put them into a mug and then I added two tablespoons of cinnamon. So can you see that? Doesn't it look totally rank? And it doesn't even look very light, so I'm kind of confused. Don't know how this is going to lighten my hair. But I'm intrigued and I'm gonna find out. I really like to do experiments like this. So I guess you'd normally do it on wet hair, but um, I already had a shower this morning, so I can't really be bothered to wet my hair again. So I'm just going to put it on dry hair, which I do sometimes do with henna. The only difference I find it makes is that it can not be that even sometimes if you don't, you do it on wet hair. So here I go, I'm just going to put it on like that. This is how I put henna on basically. Alright, oh, it doesn't really stick. It doesn't really stick to your hair at all. I guess I'm just going to have to get really involved with my fingers. It does literally look as if I've just wiped one of my child's massive turds all over my head. Uh. Feels that way too. You want to see what my laptop looks like. Oh my gosh, it's covered. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hi. serving you. So this, my dad's so cool, he hasn't even asked me what I'm doing. <laughs> he just walked in and he's like, hi. <laughs> and I have YouTube recording set up, I've got Periscope recording, and I'm sitting here with this poo-like mixture on my hair, wrapping it in a plastic bag, and he's literally just like, hi. <laughs> That's classic. Good morning. So it's the next day now. I left the chamomile and cinnamon mixture on my hair um, until six o'clock last night, so it was on for about five hours. And then I washed it off with some rye flour. You could use normal shampoo, but I haven't used that for ages, so rye flour is one of my favorite things, and I thought that would be quite good to get all the little bits of cinnamon and tea out. So I made a little paste. You can check out my other video about how to use a rye flour shampoo. And look at my hair. Okay, it's like I should have brushed it. 
I really should have brushed it. I realise that now. Um, but look, that is so much lighter. Check it out. I'd say that's about two shades lighter. It's the colour that my hair was when I first started um, doing henna. It's like quite just like a light copper. I genuinely was doubting the ability of tea to lighten my hair. And so that's just one application. Yeah, I left it on all day. I did. But imagine if you were to do that a few times. I think you'd get like a really like strawberry blonde or light blonde if you already had blonde hair. I don't think it would work on really dark hair though. So my mixture was about half a cup of chamomile tea, two heap tables of cinnamon, and a big slug of raw honey. And I mixed that up with hot water to make a kind of paste and then bunged it on. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Check out my blog if you want more information about giving up shampoo. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. If you have any luck with different teas and natural hair dyes, do let me know in the comments. Share the love. Tune in soon for some more Hippie Shake TV.